oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface. The sea is very important for life, providing almost 80% of the oxygen we breathe and absorbing 80% of global warming. In addition to regulating the air temperature, oceans also contribute to the absorption of carbon dioxide and are home to the greatest biodiversity on the planet. The sea is an important source of life, yet many human activities threaten marine organisms and the environment in which they find nutrition and shelter. Made mostly of plastic and metal, nets and other fishing equipment lost or abandoned in the sea as waste threaten biodiversity by contributing to the pollution of the marine environment and indiscriminately capturing all the organisms that then remain trapped there, giving rise to the phenomenon of ghost fishing. The project Life Ghost, coordinated by the Marine Sciences Institute of CNR and contributed by the partners of IUAV, University of Venice and Laguna Project, aims at promoting the assessment of the phenomenon of ghost fishing and its impact. Il progetto Ghost si occupa di valutare il fenomeno della pesca fantasma in un'area marina di circa 50.000 ettari situata di fronte alle coste della regione Veneto. Gli obiettivi principali del progetto Ghost sono fornire i primi dati scientifici sulla presenza e sugli effetti delle reti da pesca abbandonate sui fondali della regione Veneto ricchi di biodiversità, stimare il valore economico della biodiversità di questi ambienti e l'eventuale perdita eh, dovuta agli strumenti abbandonati e eh, fornire una serie di raccomandazioni gestionali al fine di prevenire l'abbandono in mare di questa tipologia di rifiuti e di arrivare ad una gestione eh, ecocompatibile dei materiali che li compongono per un loro eventuale riciclo. The Tenue are special undersea rocky formations, given that name by fishermen to indicate areas of the sea where trawler nets are often caught or torn. The tenue are real oases of biodiversity that contribute to the biological heritage of the animals and plants of the seabed, accommodating and also repopulating valuable fish species. The experimental activities in the field conducted as part of the GHOST project, primarily enabled to gather first data on abandoned fishing gear and their effects on biodiversity in the Tenue area off the Veneto coast. A high-resolution echo sander was used to survey parts of the seabed with the aim of obtaining a detailed map of the areas concerned. Subsequent underwater surveys based on the data analysis drawn from the mapping activities enabled the precise location and characteristics of each individual net or other abandoned material to be discovered. Subsequently, professional divers safely removed the nets and other fishing equipment from the areas of the tenue most affected by the phenomenon. The observations of the development of the Zubenthic community on those parts of rock freed from abandoned fishing equipment displayed a trend of increasing biodiversity and percentage of coverage at practically all the monitored sites. The community of fish was also found to be increasing in biodiversity and in terms of abundance of different species. In particular, there has been an increase in cryptic species, occupying cracks and fractures of the rock that had been hidden by ghost nets. 
Thanks to the use of economic evaluation techniques as part of the project, it was also possible to obtain an estimate of the cost that each family would be required to sustain for the improvement and preservation of the biodiversity of the Tenue and the related ecosystemic services that are vital for well-being and economic development, such as regulation of the cycle of nutrients, food production, the provision of habitat and recreational, aesthetics and cultural services. However, the recovery of abandoned materials, notwithstanding the undoubted ecological and economic benefits, does not completely solve the phenomenon of nets abandoned in the sea. In order to implement the appropriate prevention activities, it is necessary to involve the fishing operators, the local administrations and the companies concerned through an information and awareness campaign. The GHOST project therefore held meetings with the public, teachers and operators and disseminated publications and information on the internet. In addition, a code of conduct agreed with the fishing operators was drawn up, along with a proposal for managerial regulations directed at local administrators. The project has also drawn up some improvement proposals for the land management of abandoned fishing equipment, identifying some recycling options for the main components. A noi di Ghost piace pensare che il progetto sia riuscito a dimostrare, oltre ai risultati raggiunti di tipo concreto, che l'adozione di un comportamento consapevole può essere molto efficace a livello locale per contrastare un fenomeno come quello dell'inquinamento provocato dai rifiuti marini che ha un'importanza globale.